Hi guys, we're on VRM24.com and today we're going to disassemble the OnePlus 9RT 5G. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and pull out the tray for two SIM cards. Please notice that the tray is located at the bottom. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover up to a temperature about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can move on to removing the back cover. To detach the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover at the far corner from the cameras and run it lengthwise. We can also additionally use isopropyl alcohol to make the process easier and dry the adhesive base. We always need to be careful around the side buttons, because there may be a cable in this area and it can be damaged. We also need to be careful in the camera's area, so that we don't damage the lenses. And we open the back cover. We have only the gasket located on the cover. Then we proceed to unscrew the screws at the top. We use a Phillips 1.5 mm screwdriver or hash 3 -O. As we can see, we have a warranty sticker on the screw. It means that no one has disassembled the phone before us. Now we can detach the middle cover. Carefully hook it by the edge and lift it up. In our case, we have one more connector in the middle, which has, which was disconnected together with a cover. But as I understand it, we can disconnect it separately. Then we disconnect the battery connector. For this we use tweezers with the ceramic tips and we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5 mm screwdriver. The screws at the top and the bottom may be different, so we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. At this point we have an intricate connection system and this design is quite difficult to disassemble. That is why we first have to detach the cover, hide in the subboard and turn it over. Then disconnect the connectors for the display, coaxial cable, interboard cable and fingerprint sensor. We also need to unscrew one screw that secures the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips.
And after that we can detach the subboard. We hook it by the edge and pull it out. After we have unscrewed the screw, it will not be difficult to take out the board. On the subboard we have the microphone. And to disconnect the speaker assembly, we need to release the white coaxial cable from the tension. And we can detach the speaker. Under the speaker there is a small board, which is already traditional for many models and is connected to the 5G antenna. We can disconnect the second coaxial cable connector. And in the display frame we are left with a vibration motor and fingerprint sensor, charging port and a small board. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors of the motherboard. We disconnect the connectors of the display and the interboard cables and two connectors of the two coaxial cables and release the cables from their fixings on the motherboard. Next we detach the front camera. As usual, the front camera is glued to the shield on the circuit board with a heat dissipating coating. And we can detach the rear cameras. We also hook by the edge and detach. The large camera is glued to the display frame. So we need to be careful. And the two small cameras are secured in the assembly. So we just need to disconnect the connectors and take out the whole assembly. We also need to unscrew the two screws that secure the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5 mm. And we can detach the shortcut board. Find a convenient place, hook over the edge and take out the motherboard. It is not necessary to act forcefully so as not to damage anything. On the back side of the motherboard we have thermal paste. At last we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the two dark brown tabs and pull them up. First we unwrap and pull the first tab. Then we repeat the same actions for the second tab. And we were able to remove the battery. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next time.